deo on improvisation. Today I'd like to share with you some ideas about working with a metronome. Before I start, I just want to mention that I don't always work with a metronome. I don't think you should always work with a metronome. And I would never say to someone to never work with a metronome. I basically usually try to avoid the words never and always. So in my case, sometimes I work with a metronome. And when I do, I work on specific exercises. I'll show you what they are. The general concept, I put the metronome on different parts of the beat. And as I am playing with it, I try to emphase those different accents implied by the metronome. The series of exercises that I do are with a metronome on the third cardinal triplet, and then on the second cardinal triplet. Then I put the metronome on the half note, which is often two and four. I will do two and four. I'll do as well the end of one and the end of three, as well as the end of two and the end of four. Then I'll put the metronome on the dotted quarter note. After, I'll put the metronome on the whole note, but on the end of a beat, either the end of one, two, three, or four. Then I'll put the metronome on the half note triplet. And finally, I'll put it on the whole note triplet. I work as well with the metronome on the quarter note, mostly on the third eighth note triplet. And that's pretty much my routine. I'm so used to it that I'll pick the tune of the day, a tune I'm working on, and I'll just do all of those metronome rhythms over the tune. And it usually takes me about 20 minutes or so. It is actually longer than that to explain it and all. So let's go one at a time. We'll start with the quarter note triplets, having the metronome on the third quarter note triplet. So as I'm working out with the metronome, I can't emphasize enough how important it is for me to accentuate in my playing the specific accents that I'm working on. The idea is that I want to be able, in my soloing, when I play with the group, the flexibility to accentuate different parts of the beat, as well as using different rhythms. In this video series on rhythms, I'll use the blues, since it's a fairly simple form, and it's a good way to start. In this video, I'll make you hear some of those ideas along with the bass line, just so you hear what I'm doing. But in my practice, unless I cannot hear the rhythm, I don't use the bass line. I just play along with the metronome. So we're starting with the third triplet of the cardinal triplet, and I'll show you how it sounds over a blues with a track. I'll put the track at 200 beat per minute. So the piece goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're in the blues. Now I'll imply this rhythm, the triplet. That's the cardinal triplet. If I put the accent on the third triplet, we'll go. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. As I play this exercise, I'll do specific rhythms. For instance, one, two, three, four, po bo bap, po bo bap, po bo bap, putting an accent on the last triplet, or pa do do dap, pa do do dap, starting on the third triplet and finishing on the third triplet, and things like that. And now I will start my phrase with the third cardinal triplet and end also with the third cardinal triplet. And that would sound like this. Pa do do dap, pa do do dap, pa do do dap. Now that we hear what rhythm I'm playing over the form, I'll do the same thing, but this time with the metronome. So the bass was here at 200 beat per minute. I will now put the metronome at 100 beat per minute, half of the bass, to match the speed of the third quarter note triplet. So the speed before was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The triplet would be one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. If I put the metronome on the third triplet, it will go like, Three, one, two, 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 three. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 
Let's do it now with longer phrases. I'm still gonna start and end with the metronome. One, two, three, four. And now I'm gonna do it while playing a bit more freely, but still keeping in mind that I want to accentuate the third triplet of the cordonal triplet. One, two, three, four. Let's try again. One, two, three, four. And that was an exercise that I do accentuating the third cordinal triplet. I'll do the same now with the second cordinal triplet. I'll do it in the next video. So it will be easier for you guys to find a specific exercise. Otherwise the video would be pretty long. I thought it would be better to do a few of those. Again, I'm Rémi Bolduc from Montreal and I hope you enjoyed. Take care.